grievously on Asia's Next Top Model. The girls were given a catwalk lesson and had to impress in a fashion show. Once again, the more experienced Trang had the winning walk, but not everyone was happy for her. Ah, come on. Why again? I think it's not fair. Then, in the group photo shoot, philanthropy cracked under pressure. What are you doing your hands? No, 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 no. I just let every single person down. And devastating news from home had Monica leaving the competition, saving G and Stephanie from elimination. Twelve girls remain, each vying for the top prize of a modelling contract coming to UK and Europe with London-based store models, including a three-month all-expenses-paid working trip to London, a cover shoot with Harper's Bazaar magazine, a cash prize of 100,000 Singapore dollars, a contract to become the face of Canon X's 2013 campaign and drive away in a new Subaru XV. Who will inch closer to becoming Asia's next top model? Found two boxes, but somebody screamed in my ear, Oh my god, it's human hair! Because I was very scared. Tonight, you will feel like a child waiting in anticipation for your birthday present because tomorrow you will all be getting a makeover! For makeover, I'm so excited. I want something more strong. I want to shave it like a rock. I don't know what to do with my hair. I really want to look young, but what should I do with my hair? Very strong, but not sure. I would not like them to cut my hair. I really imagine myself with long hair. It'd break my heart if they make it short. If they cut my hair short, I just fun with it. I really, really want this kind of hair. Bang, really long hair. If they cut my hair off, I'll pretend to really like it, but then I don't want short hair. going to be covered. Yeah. I'm jealous. No, I'm not. I want the best photo means the best photo goes to Harper's Bazaar. That's a really, really big thing for me. I really enjoyed the experience of it. Bazaar. I just don't think the person who got best photo deserved it because she doesn't seem like she wants to be here. So I'm a bit pissed. The last elimination was such a train wreck. My heart was just like beating so fast. <gasps> the next thing I know is that I'm waking up <laughs> on the floor. Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm okay. <laughs> the girls, they were really concerned, which really touched me, and I appreciate that a lot. How are you feeling? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> I can't believe you're a mom. It's her like baby. it freaks me out. Yeah. I told the girls about my baby and then they were like literally there's a her name is Kim Hansol. Actually Hansol. It's Korean name because her father is Korean. <laughs> You're all looking fabulous? Maybe we could be a little bit more fabulous. <laughs> this is Le Point Talon at the Regent Hotel, where you girls will go from pretty girls next door to fancy top model material. Oh! It's the makeover. I'm really excited to see how it goes. I was really excited, but secretly inside I was really nervous. I'm okay with anything but not shaved and really short. I've been waiting for the makeover since I came to this competition. 
I was hoping to get those big wavy hair. Hi, Vesa. Hi, how are, how are you? We are going to give you bangs, and we're going to give you a blue black hair. Deep blue, blue black? Blue black oh, hair. Really? And I'm short hair. I have no idea what it's going to be like. Hey, Helena. Hello. I'm hoping I get long, thick hair. We are going to give you a very sharp, edgy bob. Oh, great. OK, calm down. Uh, OK. <gasps> Calm down. Have you seen Victoria Beckham? Yeah. That's what you're gonna get. Oh my god. A gosh. sharp Victoria Beckham bob. Oh my goodness. They're chopping all my hair off. Uh. <laughs> We're gonna give you beautiful waves. Big, big hair, okay? You're gonna be sexy and edgy. Oh. Yeah? Shave away, Nadia. From the sides? Nadia, you were like really close to my head. I remember really like, pulling away. They might make me bald. <laughs> so we want to give you something that's a little bit stronger. We're going to go dark. In fact, we're going to go jet black. Yeah. OK. Wow. okay. We're going to give you jet black hair. That's pretty much it. So <laughs> I was like, oh, OK, yay. Hi, G. We're going to make you a little bit more edgy. We're going to yeah. give you uh, bangs. And we're going to make you red, red, red. Oh yeah. my god. I kept my hair same style for a long time, so I wouldn't really mind the change. Hopefully, good one. And everyone in the world I'm still in shock. <laughs> Pink mermaid. <laughs> if you go home like that, maybe your child will not recognize yeah, you. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> like, she will die. Japanese. <laughs> I've never dyed my hair before, so it's very different. It's very uh, Victoria Beckham, that's what they were going for. It's short enough to make me look edgy. Japanese, you look like a Japanese yeah, J-pop star. Yeah. Is this like K-pop meets J-pop? <laughs> yeah. Show me an edgy pose. Very good. I feel newborn because it's my birthday today, and then I got like wow, hottest present ever. <laughs> I don't want short hair, please. I don't want short hair. You look very, very nervous. Scared now? So, we're gonna go. to lift up your features. You know, the judges keep saying that the, you look really tired, so we're just gonna open up your face, show off this wonderful bone structure. It's yeah. never been short. I'm looking like half guy. <laughs> I don't know, this is so short. Mm. You look so stressed out. I went to long hair, but now I'm looking again and I want to keep my hair. Hi, Trang. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this and we're going to take you in a bob. We love your hair, but we're going to give you a modern, sophisticated take on this hair. My hair very strange. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous mane of yours. <laughs> so we are going to go short. We're going to go really funky and it's going to accentuate your really, really strong face. I was a bit nervous, but excited for the most part. Hi, Kate. Hi. We're going to give you some layers on your hair and lighten it up. Just, we like your look, but we're going to give you a bit of strain. Wow, OK. Yeah. I trust them. If they think you look good, 
Mania. Why not? I can't do it. It's brown. I know guys, they like brown hair. Hi, brown girl. Hey, she's hot. So I said, ah, I don't like brown girls. They think they're, you know. And if I say something stupid, like, so stupid, I'll say, oh, look at her. Of course, she's brown. Here you are. <laughs> oh my god. It feels so good though. I've always wanted to shave my head for cancer and even though I didn't shave my head, I get to donate a bit of it. So I'm happy I got to do two things at one time. We've always loved you with short hair, but this is so sophisticated. You are now a high fashion model, girl. Yes, I know. Your hair's a little schizophrenic at the moment. It's, yeah, I it's know. quite messy, so <laughs> we want to give it a bit more focus. Yeah. So we're going to even out the cut a little bit mm -hmm. and give you a deep red. I don't know, red. Right now, I really can't imagine what will I look like. But yeah, let's see. My look is the new Kimura hairstyle. So that is the big wavy curls. I feel like a princess. It will make it look more voluptuous. So I hope that works in my favor. <laughs> We're going to make it really short for you and then give you a deep chestnut brown. <sighs> it's going to really, really change your look. I love it. You love it already? I love it. I like what it does to your face shape. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I think this new look really make me younger. I feel light. I can do crazy things more. It's totally more fun for me. I love Philanthropy's new look. She got trans old haircut, but I think it looks way better on Philanthropy. <laughs> wow! I love it. I love it. After this, Kimora is going to want to be you. It's like sharing everything about me. I feel like oh, this world is full of happiness. I was disappointed. I don't think I'm going to look good. But they told me it was like what Rihanna used to have. So I imagined it was like long on both sides and up to the neck on the back. So I thought it's not very, very short. It'll grow up. It's OK. Okay. <laughs> no, you're not. Really? Yeah, I was really upset. I was trying really hard to hide it, but when Nadia comes over and start like telling you, you're not okay, I can see it. <laughs> I just started crying. I feel like I have to be different from them. Asta is Asta. She's the person who likes to complain a lot. She just kept complaining about her new look, but she just looks so gorgeous in that. I just wanted to It was G's birthday. Kid and I decided to bake a cake. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody enjoyed it. Love, love, love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, G, very happy birthday. It has been good knowing you, especially knowing the fact that you sleep in your district on me. <laughs> Like it was one of my favorite birthdays. I normally don't remember much of my birthday. They were so loving and I loved it. Oh, Nadia Mail! The red head to the right and the lift up to victory. But snooze and you will lose like the pig that came last. The race is on. Who will advance to the top? We're gonna be 
be the Zodiac for sure. <laughs> We got Nadia Mayo, and I instantly knew I was the first girl who said it. It's the Zodiac. Rat, dragon, dog, pig, ox, snake, snake rabbit. Go. Goat, goat, goat. So I got a piece of paper and I started writing all the animals down because I'm Chinese and I know all about the Zodiac. I don't want to be a pig or a horse. Or an ox or a cock. <laughs> cock, 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 cock is what you call rooster. Why is that cock? The um, cock. <laughs> Gee, she just has no idea. Cock is so much nicer if you call Lusta. I will be pissed if I'm a dog or a pig. <laughs> Among the Zodiac, I think I didn't really want to get the pig. Oh, oh, what can a redhead do? Cock. the movies at Universal Studios Singapore. Meet over 100,000 marine animals. Discover the world's largest aquarium with over 800 species. And Asia's ultimate destination. Resorts World Sentosa, Singapore. Melissa, she doesn't realize that we're always laughing because she'll have a bowl of noodles for breakfast, then she'll have three slices of toast. This is still breakfast. Some chips, maybe a couple of crackers, some orange juice, some tea, and that will be her breakfast. And she just eats and eats and eats and eats all the time. Hong San Sea Temple, a globally recognized cultural heritage site here in busy Singapore. Since we gave you a fashion makeover yesterday, we thought it's your turn to give your fashion makeover to the 12 animals of the Chinese Zodiac. I know about the Chinese Zodiac, but I don't know much about the meaning of the animals. We were pretty sure it was the 12 characters in the Chinese Zodiac, but we didn't know what kind of clothing we'd be wearing, what kind of shoes, so that was still a mystery for us. We put together an amazing wardrobe for you, specially designed by the Thai avant-garde label Tube Gallery. Please welcome Saksit and Pisit. Hi, girls. Your photographer today is Hong Kong-based Akim Hakan Selebi, who's made his mark for across the world, from Miami to London to Hong Kong. Hi, everybody. Hokan Celebi, he is one of my favorite photographers. He's got a very good eye, and it was just fantastic to be able to work with him. Girls, are you excited to find out which animal you're personifying? Yes! In the magic box are 12 cards with your name on it, and that's the animal that you are going to be personifying today. Go! <laughs> I got the ox. Ox is different from cow, right? <laughs> um, beef? I don't know. I got the dog. Who got the pig? I got the pig. Okay. I don't know whether it was a hidden message that because you know, you know, I'm the tiger. Oh I was set as the tiger. <sighs> Tigers, they are very elegant. They're very beautiful. But if you piss them off, they'll kill you. Kind of like me. I got monkey. So funny. Everybody says to look at me. <laughs> I like what? <laughs> My personality may be not so for girls, but that's no problem. I can become every animal. <laughs> I'm a rat. Rat has no eyebrow. I feel a little nervous. <laughs> I felt a lot of pressure today because last two eliminations, I was almost sent home. I got told my mouth was weird, so I've been working with my mouth shape. What I want from you is looking at the camera and a serious face. And then you can just play around with it, like make it fly, 
I'm scared that my photo shoot will come out not very really good. Turn your head a little bit. Because all the cloth is so sweet, it's hard to make it more strong. Towards me, yeah, that's it. Very good. So she needs to work a bit with the dress. Jessica, she actually looks fantastic, but I think she could work a bit more with the dress. Okay, start. Good. At the beginning, I was kind of like, oh my god, I'm a pig. But then, I mean, at the end of the day, I kind of embraced it because I do tend to eat more than the average person. I'm just enjoying my life, you know? For the pig, I was interpreting it. I think it could be really lazy, so it's like really slow and sad, but strong. She really carries the costume well and then the expressions I wanted from her. I think she nailed it and she takes direction very well. Look at the camera. Head. She's struggling with the poses. Yeah, she's struggling. She's got a great face, really strong, but she's trying to tone it down and go a bit softer because she's a goat. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if it's working. Oh, I'll try. Keep moving your upper part. Emphasize more expression on your face. I got the dragon. I'm an easygoing person, but dragon is strong. She's working. She's yeah. definitely doing way better than mm. before. I love the fact that she's really fierce. Philanthropy, her eyes were really strong. She was thinking all about her eyes. She is so, so good. Keep moving like this. Being a snake, it's kind of strong, a little mysterious, like seductive. I was assuming they don't want me to be like doing the bite, like. Don't so much turn sideways. Keep it straight towards the camera. Not to the side, towards me. More straight. My makeup, it's kind of a strong look. I knew it. it's not gonna be cute. So I can do this. <laughs> no, this, no. She could have done better, I think. Her poses were similar to each other. I didn't get so much variety of expressions. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Good. Rachel is consistently confident. My neck helped me elongate my body because I wasn't straight on to the camera, like there was a bit of twist and turning, so that would have given the illusion that I'm tall. Her dress is a bit long for her. Yeah, but, but... no one notices because she's working the dress. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, go. Good. Good. Stephanie looks absolutely amazing. Even though her outfit was so difficult, she was rocking her body position. She looked like Queen Amidala. Okay, good job. Let's go. Good. I like that. Those, yeah, the body, yeah. Go. Nice. You know, even if you didn't know that she was a tiger, you can tell the, the ferocity in her eyes. She's, exactly. she's so feline. This is my best shoot today. I was feeling it. I was feeling the clothes. I felt like crouching tiger, hidden dragon. <sighs> Good, stop. Nice. You were best picture last week. So make sure you give me a strong picture as well. Stay like that, stay like that. It was like I had another head above my head. <laughs> There were two big hair pieces, like a rat's ears, and there was a bow, and my head was aching and whatnot. Let's move back a little bit now. Unfortunately, Ashta lost steam really, really quickly, and I was a bit disappointed. She just wasn't giving it. Keep your body straight. I was really hoping I could get the dragon for this holy shoot, but they gave me a dog. <laughs> and we have an old Chinese saying that um, if you are born in Dragon Year, and this is also a Dragon Year, you may become very unlucky. Turn towards me, straight like this. Basie, I thought she looked a bit too cute. Don't bend it. You're always bending your body. Keep it, try to keep it straight. Some of those shots didn't work at all. Go. I was kind of doing almost the same pose over and over again, so I didn't work that kind of fabric really well. Kind of a little bit angry because you're boo. Uh, can you say something to piss me off? <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like the other one. Let's do again. The outfit I was wearing was really hard to move, like 
my upper body was almost trapped by this outfit. Good, that's it, that's it. You move too much, too, too fast. There was so much things going on, you know, this big care and then I was under the like stress. So I'm not clicking, you're still moving? Sorry, yeah. it's, it's um, hard to hear. You cannot hear? The feeling I had at the time was really complicating because I had a lot of problems with my hair and everything. I really wanted to bring something out. Good job. Thank you, you did well. Thank you. <laughs> It was too short. <laughs> I wanted to bring more out because I wasn't really good last two times, but I don't know if I did well. <laughs> I couldn't really get the balance with this horn and like the, the suit is really tight. So, <laughs> I know I'm crying. <laughs> They manage to like die up to things. <laughs> Every time when someone wants to call me, they go like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was learning phone. It was really like this big. I couldn't pass the entrance. I had to go. <laughs> the elimination is just sucking out the energy. I just don't want to think about it, especially after today's photo shoot. Uh, it's just hard to be sure. It's hard to be sure because one, your opinion differs from the judge's opinion, and two, you, you don't see the other girls' photo shoot, so you don't you can't gauge yeah, yourself. Yeah, that's why you don't know. I got best photo last week, and it kind of puts a pressure on you. <laughs> you look great with your makeover. I just hope I don't end up like near the bottom, from the best photo to the worst one. I never realized that a haircut could be so much of an issue, but it's affecting me. I tried to work it in my photo shoot, but I'm kind of worried. My name is Kate, and I'm a botanist. When I was a little girl, we had a small flower bed outside my window. Dad called it my secret garden. I loved it. I kept a little journal just for it. These days, my EOS is my journal. Nature never ceases to amaze me all the time. Ignite your passion with EOS 650D. Canon, delighting you always. Welcome to another round of Judging's Ladies. And by now, you have your best foot forward with your amazing new looks. You also know what you stand to win. A modeling contract covering the UK and Europe with London-based store modeling agency, including a three-month all expenses paid working trip to London, the cover of Harper's Bazaar magazine, 100,000 Singapore dollars, and you'll also be the face of the Canon Ixus 2013 campaign and drive away with a Subaru XV. And now, on to our judges. The prolific photographer, Todd Anthony Tyler. Hello. And the high-flying Daniel Boy. Hi, girls. Hi. And this week, we also have the genius behind top-notch Thai fashion label, Tube Gallery, Saksit. Hello. Hi. Let's get started. So this week, the girls had a very interesting photo shoot. They were draped in the Chinese zodiac animals and clad in Tube Gallery's very exotic clothes. So judges, how did they do? I think the makeover has given everyone a, a new sense of energy and everyone pushed and everyone gave their very best. So I was really pleased with the girls. Well done, girls. I think it gave everyone much more character, that individual sense of who you are. You know, just bringing something more special out when you see you in person. Let's call up our first girl, Sophia. Let's have a look at your best shot. It's the face I have a problem with because you kind of look like a snake caught in the headlights. Like, don't run over me! I think you're realizing where your weak points are, but that uncertainty, that's going to do you under. If you don't feel it 100%, you have to fake it. You just have to turn on the switch. Thank you. <laughs> Stephanie. Let's have a look at your best shot. Stephanie, after last week, I was starting to lose faith in you, but this week, you were one of my favorites. You had one of the most difficult outfits to wear. The outfit was like a straight jacket. 
She couldn't move her arms, she couldn't move her shoulders. But kudos to you for stretching your neck. I love the picture. It looks high fashion. You made it. Thank you very much. I think we've given you an amazing makeover. You need to start dressing like a model. Because right now, you look drab. Take the shirt off. And voila, you look like a model. I wouldn't wear the shoes, though, for elimination. <laughs> Gee. What do you think? I look like an ox. <laughs> you look like an ox? Well, isn't that great? You are so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I was observing you very carefully backstage. You were thinking about your poses, you were practicing. It wasn't necessary for me. It was me. necessary? <laughs> well, it showed. I think this photo shoot completely saved you. You did take the advice of looking into the camera. Well, I have to say, you were the most improved. Congratulations. Next up, philanthropy. So you were the dragon. When I was watching the photo shoot, I honestly felt philanthropy, welcome to the competition. Finally, you're breaking out of that shell. You did an excellent job. I'm glad you came to the party before it was too late. Keep it up. Thank you. Trang. Let's have a look at your best shot. What animal are you? I'm um, goat. Goat. Yes. None of that came across in any of your pictures. In fact, I thought you struggled a little in your relationship with the photographer. For well, this picture, is nothing special for me. Actually, out of all the girls, you're the weakest in front of the camera. Melissa. Let's have a look at your best shot. Definitely pulling pig gave you the perfect opportunity to fall completely on your face. And you didn't. That was such a nice, solemn, sad pig. It was a nice surprise from you because you're always so bubbly. The panel said you took better photographs than Trang did. Rachel. From what I hear, the dress was a little bit too long. I would never have known. You are wearing the outfit, not the other way around. And you're fierce in this shoot, and it shows such versatility. It's lovely growth and a lovely attitude. Thank you. Kate. So, Kate, you were a monkey. Do you think that suits you? I think so. I just jump around and like play on people. I could have seen fun and flirty in the eyes, but here I saw fierce. You've got to tell the story with your eyes. Basa. You were the dog. You had some pretty hard eye makeup to work with. Unfortunately, it didn't help you in this image. When you did the sari, it was the same pose over and over and over and over and over again. You haven't progressed. If you're stuck for ideas, maybe you should communicate a little more, perhaps with the photographer. It is one of the most difficult outfits to work with, and it worked for me. Helena. Right off the bat, I wouldn't wear this kind of shirt for your body type. Oh, OK. Yeah. Why? Because you're busty, and then you've got no shape. It okay. just becomes one giant square. Okay. Let's have a look at your best shot. Hey, Tiger. As a photographer, I love this photo. I like the movement. I like how you can see the garment. I like that you really did embody a feline nature as a cat. You've got to be aware of your neck. Some of the poses, you look like your head was joined to your shoulders. Oh, okay. So when you're leaning forward and if the photographer is shooting from a lower angle, make sure you stretch your neck out. Otherwise, you're just going to look like this. Okay. Can I have Jessica, please? You are Jessica Rabbit. In this picture, the skirt looked really flat, which is, you know, disappointed. I did feel you struggled a bit with the outfit, and you didn't take advantage of the fact that the outfit had a huge train. You could have played with it. You could have given the photographer a little bit more of a choice. Ashta. Can I just say that with this new haircut, you've taken this outfit from High Street to Designer but you've got to match it with the right attitude and the right belief. During the makeover, you were the one whose hairdo I loved the most, and yet you were the one who was crying and sad. Oh. You need to know that in your poses, you need to have that strength as well, OK? Let's have a look at your best pick. I have to say this picture doesn't work for me, not at all. I'm kind of really interested why you thought that pose had anything to do with being a rat. Uh, like, kind of wanted to show my fingers and draw attention to my ears too. Like, ears like thing I had on my hand. I don't know what you were doing with your hands. 
you didn't help the dress and there is no energy. I could feel that you are like confident a bit. I hope you can gain that back. Thank you, Ashta. All right, girls, the judges and I will take some time to deliberate. And when we return, we will know who is still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. You're flirting with a hot female stranger in an elevator. You want to spice things up, so you press the emergency button. Here's what could happen. She finds you bold and sexy. She finds you bold and sexy, and so does her twin sister. She finds you bold and sexy, so does her twin sister, and so does her twin sister's twin sister. She's a nearsighted contract killer who's mistaking you for her target. You're sent into a parallel dimension only populated by 21 to 23 year old girls who have a fear of commitment. Nothing happens. The button is broken. She finds you bold and sexy, and she sneezes hot dogs. It's actually a button that has been secretly installed by Hugh Hefner back in 1967 when he was using this elevator quite often. There's only one way to know what will really happen. Press to play. Do you aspire to be a top model? Enter our contest and you can be on your way to a career with Storm Model Management in London. See store displays for details. Playboy Fragrances. For her and for him. So looking at the photos, we need to judge the girls on a few criteria. I love Stephanie's picture. She looks like a majestic rooster. Stephanie definitely had the more difficult outfit, but I felt that her overall image was a little bit boring. Helena is a close second for me. And Helena did a very good job, and that is one of the pictures you cannot deny that it's one of the best. Rachel. Oh, Rachel, amazing picture. And I love the emotion. G? G gave a different kind of energy. She really has come a long way. Philanthropies make or break our problem has always been the eyes, and she did it. And how about Little Miss Peak? Well, Melissa continues to surprise. When you compare her to Tron, Melissa is a better model. I really like Jessica a lot. But she, I don't know, she gets a little bit lost. She doesn't help my clothes. And you know, as a designer, we wouldn't like that. Sexy Kate. She embodies monkey in real life. And how flat is this picture? So now we have Besa, and I have to say, we have been talking about how she can evolve. And in this picture, we said she hasn't really changed that much. And I feel that her face is just flat. I feel she hasn't progressed. Sophia. Sophia goes hot and cold. Maybe she's just a runway girl and not a photo girl. Maybe she's not top model material. I'm kind of like this picture, but I think it's a lot to do with the photographer. Ashta? She's got a great face, a wonderful makeover that everyone loves. But look at how flat this picture is. And when you asked her what was going through her mind, she had no answer. Yeah, why am I doing this? She looked like a rat that been gassed. Like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> like that, like that, you know? Yeah. All right, judges, I think we've all reached a decision and we should bring the girls back in. 12 beautiful girls stand before me, but I only have 11 photographs in my hand. These 11 photographs represent the girls who will still be in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Best photograph this week goes to Helena. Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Runner-up for best photo, Stephanie. Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Next up, I have G. G, you went from very near bottom to very near top. Congratulations. Rachel. Philanthropy. Next, Sophia. Melissa. Jessica. Kate. 
congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Trang. You need to give us more expressions. I know, I will do it. Ashta and Basin, please step forward. Two beautiful girls stand before me, but I only have one photograph in my hand. Who is the girl that will be going home? Is it the girl who is the classic China beauty, but hasn't shown much progression? Or is it Ashta? the one who everyone says has the most amazing features, and yet we don't see any emotion from you. Ashta, congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. But, do you really want this? Yes. The judges can't tell how much you want this. I want it really bad. Besa, you are a beautiful girl. But the judges feel that you lack instinct. And maybe, maybe, you're not top model material. Now you must go home, pack your bags, and leave the model house immediately. Take everything that you've said. Okay. Every girl come from a different country. It's really hard to see each other again. It's just really sad. In that house, Melissa and Helena was my roommate, so I was very close to them. And I would definitely miss all the other girls as well. I just hope that I left some good impression for the girls. Even though I may not have the potential to be a top model, but I can be a good person. On the next Asia's Next Top Model, the photo shoot gets hot with a sexy co-star. Some girls rise to the occasion while others fell short. Do you see this bulge? Yeah. Yeah, she looks really fat. I don't even know what the hell was wrong with me. I've got a crisis here. A wardrobe malfunction pushes Daniel over the edge. Just give her tights, all right? I'll give this to someone else more deserving. And a shocking elimination awaits the girls.